Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you how to script a rank leaderboard on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. Uh, and for my example, I have it hooked up to my row scripter group, but you can have the script hooked up to whatever group you want. Uh, and all we have to do is look in the top right corner, and on the leaderboard, it displays our rank. Okay, so now that you know what this script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So to make this rank leaderboard, we need a script under server script service. It has to be a server script because it comes up for all the players in the game. Uh, and we can just name this script rank leaderboard. Now in this script, the first line that we're going to have is getting a reference to the players because we need to be able to get when players are added to our game. So we'll just say local players equals game colon get service players. And you could just say game.players, but if for some reason the players doesn't load in when your server loads up, this will fail and the script won't work, so we have to say get service players. Uh, next, we have our group ID. So whatever group ID you want the rank to show up for, that's with this variable you put it in. So for my example, I'm going to do the row scripter group, uh, and the group ID is this right here. So I'm just going to say local group ID equals this because that's my group ID. Uh, now that we have that we can actually get into coding the part that shows the rank. So we have to get whenever a player is added because we have to do this for every player in the game. So we're gonna say players dot player added and then we're gonna connect that to a function and then in that function we're gonna get the player that was added. Uh, and now in here, we actually have to create a leader stats folder. Now, if you already have leader stats for a coin script or a point script or something else, you don't have to write this line. You just need a reference to the leader stats folder underneath the player. So I'm just going to create it here. So we'll just say local leader stats equals instance dot new folder. And we'll create that underneath the player. And we have to name it leader stats for that leaderboard to come up. So we'll just say leader stats dot name equals leader stats, lowercase l, very important. Uh, after this, we need to actually create the string value that gets shown, so the rank text. So when mine was set to owner, that was a string value that was set to owner. So we'll create that value just by saying local rank text equals instance dot new string value. Uh, and then we'll parent that to leader stats. And then we just need the name of that to be equal to rank so that people know what is it. It's not just any value, it's the rank in the group. So we'll say rank text.name equals rank. Uh, and then after this, we actually need to get the rank in the group. We need to see are they an owner, are they an admin, are they a member, what, or what rank are they? So we'll just say, we'll create a variable for that. We'll say local rank equals player colon get rolling group and it actually has to be get rolling group and not get ranking group because get roll returns the roll name but get rank returns the number the roll ID so it's very important that you have get rolling group uh, and then we our parameter in there is just the group ID we just have to specify that uh, and now we have the rank as a string value so all we have to do is say rank text dot value equals rank and this will set whatever the rank text is on the leaderboard to the player's rank. And if we go into the game, we can test it real quick. Uh, and I'll actually, I'll show you two examples here, what will happen if you're not in the group. So this is my row scripter group. I'm the owner. So as you'll see in the top right, it'll come up as owner for me. But maybe, let's say group one. I'm not a member of group one. So if we go into the game, because I'm not a member, I'm a guest in the group. You'll see in the top right corner, it should just say guest because we're not a member of the group. So this is a pretty cool script because if you ever want somebody to be able to know what rank your players are, all you have to do is drop this into your game and then the ranks will get displayed on your leaderboard. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the Paceman link with the code and the Roblox model link in the description of this video, and I'll see you guys later.